guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for all the recent support. The support on these What If Play reviews guys has blown my mind. Some of my videos are over a thousand views which is crazy. I didn't expect this so thank you very much for continuing to watch these. Today's play review is going to be based around the What If Man, Big Yuri. Yuri Bachiche is the man. Big Yuri, here he is in all his glory. The man is a left back for athletic club in the Spanish league. He's 5 foot 11, high medium work rates with 3 star, 3 star. So these are the stats that my man is working with. Very good pace on the car. He's got good physical stats. Very good defending. His jumping is good. His agility is a little bit low, but that is fine. His passing stats going forward is very nice. And he has shot power and the long shot is 80. I'm looking at this guy's stats and the thought of playing him as like a left side of centre back in a three back formation is quite exciting. He has high medium work rates, which is fine. He's not going to drive up too much, but the defending, the physical stats, he's obviously left footed. He's got pace, very good dribbling. He can go forward, he can create chances, he can pass out from the back. In regards to traits, he is a solid player. I don't know what that means. I think it means something like they can't get injured or they don't get injured often. I don't really know. But my man is solid. He's an absolute beast. He's an absolute unit. And we're super excited to give him a go. This is the team that we're going to be using in today's video. We've got another What If player, Marcelo. I've done a review of him on my channel, guys. If you've not seen it, click that little information tag at the top there. It'll take you through to that video. And the rest of the boys are the usual suspects for my team. Custom tactics, we've got pressure on heavy touch, 5 width and 8 depth. 4-4-2, brackets 2 is the formation. Yuri Berchiche is starting as a left back. However, I'm going to rotate him into a left mid, a CDM role, just to try him out as much positions as possible. See if he actually offers something going forward as a fullback. The man himself, if you're looking to pick him up on the market, is roughly the same price as Pereira. I think you're looking at about 110, 115 to about 130k, roughly. That's probably going to go up and down depending on how well his club, Athletic Club in the Spanish League, do. Um, I believe they need one clean sheet out of the next five matches, four matches. I don't know if they've already played one. Let me know down below if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty certain that's all it takes for this man to get a plus two upgrade. And if he gets a plus two upgrade, those stats are going to look pretty naughty. So we're doing the usual. We've played three Div 1 matches, 2,200 skill total. We're going to test out Yuri Bacicce, see how he is going forward, see how he is in multiple positions, and see if he is worth picking up off the market. We compiled the best goals, clips, etc. from those three matches into one little montage for you guys, and I'll catch up with you after.
So big Yuri, the beast himself. He got a goal, it was a bit scrappy, he got an assist also, which is a very nice play. I'll be playing him on a left mid majority of the matches. And my first thoughts on the card, honestly, he's a tank. He's got pace, he's got physical stats to be able to drive forward with the ball. He's not as quick as majority of these meta fullbacks, meta wingers that you're seeing at the moment, but then physical stats just kind of put him in a league of his own. He's got quite a stocky body type, so he's not that agile. However, being a man, I did struggle. You know, the little facials, the ball rolls, I managed to get past my opponent a few times with him. So overall, very nice card. He did score the goal. However, I didn't really get to try out the shooting stats. It was pretty much an open goal. Uh, so we're not really gonna go off that too much. Linking the play and making the overlapping runs was very nice. He's very good crossing and the short passing to link up the ball quite nicely. Defending, he was pretty solid. Majority of the tackles that he went into, he tended to win. It didn't quite ricochet off him left, right, centre like a few of the fullbacks and centre backs in this game. It's kind of hard to give these players a rating out of 10 purely for the fact that you've got to think about if they get that plus two bonus. These are live cards. Currently, as the 87, I think he's very good. He could hang. If you want to get him as a left back, he offers a few nice links. For example, Lorente, Cucurella here, you get a nice strong link on the left side. But overall, as an 87, I'm going to give him a solid 7 out of 10, which is good. You know, it's not shocking, it's respectable. He could do a job in his position. If you want to play him as a left mid, I probably wouldn't recommend it. CDM, probably wouldn't recommend it either. Left back is the place to play this man. He's solid, he'll do a job for you at the back. And if he escapes up the pitch, he might score a goal or two. Anyway, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this little player review. My name's been Morsi. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.